Hello everyone, I'm sorry for the delay. Um, we're gonna start with our debate. So my name's Amber Bynum and I sit at the chair of elections. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So we're gonna start with our presidential debate. Um, we're, we have three different segments. Our first question is the presidential questions. The second segment is the vice presidential questions. And then the last one is a joint, um, the joint question um, portion. So they'll both be answering the questions. So the first portion, um, we have our president from, um, from Strength and Unity, um, George Reyes, joining the stage. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and as of right now, we have one president um, present. So um, this portion, he will be on the stage um, right now answering these questions. Um, if the other candidate does show up, he will be on stage. So um, just want to give that, that um, brief statement before. So we'll, we'll start our first portion. Amber, oh, there we go. Hi, yeah. everybody. Sorry. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. And as well, joining the stage, we'll have the vice presidents from both um, slates as well. We have um, Sivag Alexanian from Strength and Unity. <laughs> and Vlad Arut, you know, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher that. that. Okay. Um, from Student Voices. Awesome, so just a reminder, um, each question has a two minute time frame, and I'll give you the signals um, when you need to start wrapping up. And we will begin. So first question, what do you believe is the role of associated students, and more specifically, what is the role of the AS president? Awesome. Hi everyone, my name is George Reyes, and I'm running for associated students president. I believe the role of associated students, it's a huge one here on our campus. For example, the mission of Associated Students is to advocate for you at a, not only at an administration level, at a state level, but also at a federal level, and are valuable through your student success outside of the classroom. The main mission of the president of Associated Students should be that they represent the student body in a very equitable way, making sure they listen to every student, advocate for the students, not only, like I said, at a state, at an administration level, but also at a state level, and making sure they are able to inspire their Senate, inspire their cabinet to achieve the amazing goals that Associated Students has been doing for the past few years. I've been in Associated Students for four years. I've had the pleasure of seeing many Associated Students presidents, and I know what it takes to be the next Associated Student president. With that being said, not only inspiring, but also making sure the corporation runs smoothly. We have around seven to eight different departments in Associated Students, like our Children's Center, Recycling Services, Ticket Office, Productions, and they all give amazing student opportunities and programs and services for the students to benefit from. Thank you. Okay, second question. How does your current or past position make you the most qualified candidate for this position? Thank you. So, um, I've been in Associated Students for the past four years. I currently serve as a Chief of Staff for Associated Students. I've served as your former Arts Media and Communication Senator, as well as I've served as a produ productions uh, producer for Associated Student Productions. With that being said, within my diversity in Associated Students, I've also been around campus with different clubs and organizations, like the New Student Orientation Program, Matador Camp, Radio, student, Radio Journalism Association, as well as the California State Student Association, making sure I do not advocate for you only at the at CSUN, but also at a state level. I've been part of committees that deal with not only our CSUN school, our CSU, but also all the other 23 CSUs. I have the power, the diversity, the inspiration, and I'm ready to commit to the, what it takes to be an Associated Students President. And I believe that's what I have to offer for the student body. Awesome, so third question. How would you characterize your leadership skill, style? Sorry. My leadership style? Yes. All right, my leadership style is very open and I believe it's very unique. I definitely wanna make sure to listen to everyone on my board. I've had the pleasure of supervising the cabinet members this year, as well as advocating on behalf of them and the student body at the Capitol. I really wanna get everyone's input. Uh, as president, I would only wanna motivate you and inspire our board. I don't wanna dictate what you should be voting on when it comes to your budget. The Senate has a right of voting on whatever they desire when it comes to advocating for their student needs. And that's what we need in a president. We need to make sure there's diversity, there's inspiration and motivation within our board. And that's what I believe should be for a president. 
Thank you. Fourth question. What does school spirit look like to you? And do you think CSUN currently has that? I definitely believe CSUN currently has that, but it can always improve. What school spirit looks up looks to me is our NCAA women's basketball team winning the um, Big West tournament and going back to NCAA. That's school spirit to me, as well as our associated student body. Um, students going around and being, yeah, I'm from this club and organization, or wow, my campus has a farmer's market. What does your campus have? Or I am from, I'm allowed to bring my child and use the AS Children's Center because my school provides that for me. I'm allowed to go to a huge campus concert and make sure that I can invite my friends and have that campus spirit that provides to here on campus. I'm making sure that all of our students are proud to be Matadors. Not only Matadors, but also CSU students. Thank you. This year's AS president and vice president campaigned about their passion to start a farmer's market here on campus, and it became a reality. If elected, what do you want to be known for, and how will you achieve that goal? Sevag and I have split up our four main pillars. Um, when it comes to my um, specialty, for example, what I want to leave as my legacy is creating an AB 540 slash Dream Center for students here on campus. <laughs> These students are students who are undocumented, but are still willing to get a higher education here on our campus. And I will commit and I have the passion and the drive to make sure this communication is happening. These are students who are paying their student fees. They are students here on campus. They are diverse and they're more than qualified to receive a CSU education. Thank you. Next question. What is your stance on impaction? How will impactions affect the student body of CSUN? Unfortunately, there is, we're not the only impacted school in the CSU. There is around over 16 CSUs who are also impacted. This does not only affect our current students, but it also affects our students who want to come to our campus. So right now, there's a pro problem with the tier two people who want to get into our campus. So people who are not around the area for specific majors. I believe it's a huge problem. And what needs to happen is make sure that our associated students is advocating at a state and federal level. Sevak and myself have gone to Sacramento and had the pleasure in advocating on your behalf and making sure we advocate for the $97 million that the CSU is in deficit for. And we need to make sure that we have those clear lines of communication with our representatives and make sure that we advocate for the 97 million so we don't have to have impaction anymore. Thank you. Next question. What are your thoughts about Big Show? <laughs> well, I've come from a production um, background and Big Show actually just stepping outside of that production's background is an amazing event that our student leaders get to plan. Not only does it open opportunities for them to have jobs, but volunteer opportunities as well. And like I said before, that is what CSUN's campus spirit is all about. Let me tell you, when Big Show comes, I hear so many students saying, I am so proud to come to CSUN and pay that $88 fee to make sure we have an amazing concert, as well as making sure we give those $88 to Children's Center, Recycling Service, Outdoor Adventures, Sport Clubs. We have over 30 sport clubs. Let's go tell that to other CSUs and see what they have to say. Thank you. How do you plan to work with the California State Student Association, also known as CSSA, and do you think CSUN currently has a powerful lobbying voice? Ooh, yes, I do. <laughs> All right. So I've had experience working in the California State Student Association, being in a committee for representing the students with disabilities here at the CSU level. I've had a pleasure working with different CSU presidents, and I know, I know how the dynamic works. We just hosted an amazing California State Student Association, and, our, and they loved every single moment of it, as well as I've gone to Sacramento and advocated alongside those student leaders from other campuses to make sure that our CSU is well represented. And I believe the second question was, um, what was it, sorry? Do you think CSUN currently has a powerful lobbying voice. We definitely have a powerful lobbying voice. We had our legislative affairs chairs in the past having amazing lobby court. Our external affairs committee has been passing amazing resolutions to make sure that we're not only represented here on campus, but also externally. And like I said, this past month, we've gone to Sacramento and advocated for the 97 million that our CSU system needs. So yes, I believe we're doing an amazing job and we can only keep on moving up. All right, next question. If you could change one thing about associated students, what would that be and why? That's a very 
interesting question, but <laughs> definitely, I do not think I would change anything about associate and students. In instead, I would improve our, all of our departments. Like I've said before, I've been in associate students for four years, and I've had a bit of experience within a lot of our departments, and I've seen the growth, the, the requirement that it takes to grow within those departments. What I will do is make sure all of those departments grow at the same level, so then we have an amazing associate students at the end of the day, and our student fees are going to making sure we implement programs and services that are, are outside of the classroom because at the end of the day, we're already paying those $88 every semester. Thank you. That concludes the presidential questions for the, se for the first segment. So I please invite you to take a seat in the back. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much, George, for being here. Next, I would like to invite both the vice president presidential candidates from each slate to take, um, take the podium. Thank you. So first, um, I would like you to start off with introducing yourself, um, and then just a brief opening statement, about two minutes, um, about your slate, um, the goals, priorities, about um, what, what you're running for. And uh, per the, 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 coin, the coin toss we had, um, we're, we're gonna start off with the student voices slate with Vlad. So you have two minutes and we'll give you a signal if you go over. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vlad, Vladimir Aratunov. I'm running with student voices slate. And I want you to, I wanna tell you guys, associated students, is our collective will that represents the students' opinion, the students' drives, the students' priorities against the university corporation, against the CSU Chancellor's Office, against any organization or corporate arm that tries to resist the will of the people that this institution is run for. You pay to be here, and not only with your tuition, but with your campus fees that support associated students. Student Voices is about representing you, is about representing us, who are also students, and it's about representing not just trying to bolster or, or improve or, or, or build up programs that possibly are antiquated, but try to change programs that need to be changed, try to improve what should be improved, and try to specifically target problems with specific solutions. I want you guys to hold us, all of us, to a higher standard. I want you guys to make sure that what you hear from us is plans to fix problems that affect you. Thank you. Next we'll have Sevag. Hello Matadors, my name is Sevag Alexanyan and I'm running to be your next Associate Students Vice President on the Strength and Unity slate. Our four main pillars that we are running on are communication, opportunity, sustainability, and campus experience. Just a little background upon myself, I currently serve as the Lower Division Senator for AS as well as the Chair of the External Committee. I, I'm actually appointed on the TUC Board and um, from that, I've been able to receive experience not only working with AS, but also working with different corporations and different on-campus partners such as the TUC. In addition to that, I'm a member of the Armenian Student Association as well as a member of Greek Life here on campus. And I feel that all of these uh, different, different things that I've been a part of have definitely prepared me for this position and prepared me for um, running for associate students. In terms of what our four main pillars are, um, so starting with communication, we want to increase AS awareness on campus. Currently, um, people know about AS, but they are, it's not where it needs to be. I feel that every student here at the university needs to know about all the programs and services that we as associate students offer and give them. So if elected, we want to start something called the 100 Day Initiative, where we go to 100 classrooms in 100 days if elected and talk to these students, talk to them and hear what they want from us, their elected officials, and also tell them what we can offer, tell them what we want to do for them as elected officials. Uh, secondly, what we want is opportunity, just as George mentioned, we want to create an AB540 center here on campus. We want to represent all the students that we have here at CSUN. 40,000 students, that's a lot. We're number one in the CSU in terms of the amount of students we have here at CSUN. So we feel, we feel that we have to best represent every student and every need that they have. Uh, moving on, we want to improve upon our sustainability here on campus. Just as we have our AS Farmers Market, we want to make sure that the AS Farmers Market is here, not only for this semester, but for the years coming forward, and make sure it stays. Make sure that it has healthy options here for us CSUN students. Uh, we need to be, as just as he said, we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard. Currently, the only real food that we hold here at CSUN is, and they're telling me I'm out of time. So I'll continue. Yeah. 
in a bit. Thank you. <laughs> So these next couple questions will be for both candidates, and um, I'll ask the question, and one candidate will answer, and then I'll ask the, the same, the, the other candidate the same question. Um, so we'll start with Vlad, and the first question is: the AS president and vice president are a team. What will your team look like in the in the coming year? How will you manage difference? How will you manage differences of opinion between the two of you? Thanks. Lucas and I are both sustainability minors. Uh, we come from very different backgrounds. He's a creative person, uh, he's a music major, I'm a technical person, I'm a mechanical engineering major, and we have a vision to make associated students more representative of our academic priorities. Um, for example, one of the main points of our platform is that we want to reallocate funding within AS as soon as we're in office uh, to address both the inadequate amount of scholarship money we have available at the university level and the inadequate amount of money we have for academic resources in laboratory spaces and artistic spaces in the campus. Uh, Lucas and I have both, both have personal examples of, of how there are inadequacies and just simple, basic, fundamental academic resources that are lacking, that are putting us behind other CSUs, putting us behind the UC system, putting us behind uh, universities across the world. And Lucas and I, our team, which, which consists of both the president, the vice president, all our senators, our chiefs of staff, our departments, both of us have executive experience within different organizations on and off campus that we want to contribute to and we want to use this experience to make sure that we actually have targeted solutions, not just try to have conversations with people, not just try to send emails back and forth, but follow up with specific organizations and individuals on campus so that we can get things done before we graduate. Thank you. Thank you. Same question for you, Sevan. Yes, uh, I met George my freshman year here at CSUN. Um, luckily this year I was able to work with him as him being the uh, uh, chief of staff for the current legislation and myself as a lower division senator. Uh, we are currently serving on the external committee together. I'm the chair of that and he is uh, a member. And within that, we've been able to work with one another, really see how one another works and been able to develop quite the relationship. Uh, we got together during December and we felt that we both had the same vision and we felt that we both had the same goals that we wanted to accomplish and we wanted to create a team and that's how we created Strength and Unity. And we currently have, including ourselves, 19 member team and uh, we're very excited. We are ready. We are ready for the challenges that are going to be coming but at the same time we're going to be overcoming them. Yes, it will be difficult. However, we have the experience, we have the passion and we have the drive to take to do what it takes to make positive change and positive growth for associated students as well as CSUN. In addition to that, um, yes, the president and the vice president do disagree at times. However, that disagreement it provides for healthy, healthy growth because you can't be on the same page every single day, every single time because then it won't, you won't get anything done. You want to have a little bit of that, no, I disagree, I feel that we should take this route, I feel like we should take um, a, a, different, a different view on things. And that, with that, it helps us provide a more spirited environment where it's open to debate and it's open to, um, to all of us just having, uh, producing better results essentially. Thank you. Next question. What are the most pressing, pressing issues CSUN students face on a daily basis? And we'll start with, um, with Sebab. Yes. Um, one of the major issues we have on campus, I'm sure as all of you experienced today in the morning, is parking. Parking is definitely something that affects all of us every day. It's a hurdle that we have to get through every day before getting to our classes. And that's something that George and I want to tackle under our, uh, our fourth pillar, which is campus experience. We want to help improve the campus experience we have here at CSUN. A way we plan on doing this is by creating something we like to call a smart parking app. And the way that this would work is that just as you have all your different parking lots here on the university, when you get to the university, maybe you're like a couple minutes away, you pull over, you open your phone, and there it says which parking lots are currently receiving lots of traffic, which parking lots aren't. Um, 
and it's essentially going to help you, the students, make your experience a little bit better by saving time. So you're not going to the fifth floor of G3, for example, only to find that there's no parking. So it's going to save you a few minutes and it's going to help you improve your campus experience. Another issue that's facing CSUN students is impaction. Just as George had mentioned, uh, we are currently impacted as not only a CSUN but also the CSU system and that's because we're not receiving the adequate funding that we need. Just as George mentioned last month we were in Sacramento advocating for uh, not only CSUN but also the CSU system and there we were telling the senators, telling the House of Representative members and letting them know that last year, last year alone thousands of students, not necessarily from CSUN but just the entire CSU system as a whole, were denied access to higher education because we were not receiving the adequate funding. And now that CSUN is receiving this impaction, it's important to have strong leadership as the president and the vice president so that when we do go and talk to these legislators, we have the experience and we have the know-how to let them know that CSUN has these needs and we're going to make sure that we get what we need. Thank you. Same question for you, Vlad. I want to take my first minute to address Savag's response to the parking situation. That's also one of our platform items. I want you guys to be aware that uh, the system proposed by my opponents would require an extremely intensive sensor system uh, to actually monitor all the parking spaces in order to be integrated with this app. Uh, the app doesn't just use satellites to find all the parking spaces. You need actual physical sensors in every space, so there will be massive construction uh, in, in all the parking lots to, to actually implement this system, uh, which it, A, costs money that we probably don't have, especially if we don't reallocate funds, and B, uh, would, would probably, by the time we all graduate, actually be fully functional. We have an alternative parking solution. Uh, my, the president, Lucas Faring, is the chair of the Sustainability Committee in Associated Students currently, and he's been working on a plan with the Transportation Working Group in the, at the Institute for Sustainability here in Santa Susana Hall, uh, which is also app-based, but is a ride-sharing program, which would both decrease parking congestion by 10%. That's a proven statistic across different campuses in the, in the state of California, both UC, Cal State, and private, and would decrease the per-person parking costs for, your, for each of your parking passes. Secondly, about impaction. I want you guys to know we cannot directly affect impaction at the associated students level here at Cal State Northridge. It is not accurate to believe that with all the power the president and vice president have that we can directly affect impactions at the state level. Thank you. Thank you. Next question. What program, initiative, or accomplishment of associated students are you most proud of? We'll start with you, Vlad. So, I've been a constituent of the presidents of Associated Students here in my, my four years at Northridge. Um, I would say I'm most proud of the fact that they represent my interest as a sustainability minor. Uh, I've been really proud of the fact that we were able to establish the farmer's market. I understand that it probably took uh, a load of political will to get that through. Um, I understand it takes a massive amount of coordination. And I'm really proud of the mental fortitude that the president and vice president have displayed in trying to get this passed because it's, it's not just paperwork, uh, it's a lot of emotion work, it's a lot of people skills. And Lucas and I want to bring that to the table as we try to, to hold ourselves up to the example uh, of the current president and vice president. I'm really proud of the fact that Associated Students has been able to really in incredibly well brand the CSUN identity uh, past the past year. And there's been massive improvements in our in our social cohesion on the campus. That's what I'm that's what I'm most proud of. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of room for improvement. We have serious problems. We have serious basic governance problems. And I'm not going to point fingers at different individuals and associated students. No one's. We're all human. Lucas and I are not going to fix every problem for everyone. We're we're humans too. But we're going to try to address the problems that are the academic fundamental priorities. This is an institution that you buy into in order to get educated when you leave. And I'm proud of the work that Associated Students has done so far, but we need to address fundamental education concerns. Thank you. Thank you. Same question for you, Savad. Yes, one of the things that I'm very proud of that, and I've actually been able to be a part of, is this past year serving within the Senate, we were able to pass the funding for the Sustainability Center that will be coming in 2016. And um, yes, 
and this is a great, this because currently, I don't know if all, all of you have been to the current recycling center, but it is not run the way it's supposed to be in terms of, uh, it, they work in the hot summer months and they currently don't have any visors, they don't have um, the, the great working conditions that they need. And now with having put the funding down and uh, beginning the structural reconstruction essentially of the recycling center. That's something I'm very proud of because not only will this be a chance for those that work in the recycling center to be given better working conditions, but also it's going to be helping CSUN as a whole because it's going to show that we're making a commitment to sustainability as a campus. We're creating a huge beautiful center that's going to be created with recycled materials and it's going to really show that CSUN is a green campus and taking the steps, taking the initiatives to go green. In addition to that, uh, AS Awareness Month. This is something that uh, we have definitely been pat we passed a couple years ago, and the purpose behind this is so that AS continues to grow and the students continue to know what uh, services that are offered to them. And that goes back to our first pillar that we mentioned with communication and with the 100-day initiative that we plan on doing. It's just again to increase AS awareness. So where it currently at. Where, where it currently is, it's great, but again, it can continue to grow. Um, CSUN AS has done a great job in the past, and I'm very proud to be part of this organization, and I want to continue being a part of this organization at the helm. And I feel that we can definitely take AS to the next step and make it better than it currently is. Thank you. Next question. CSUN is one of the most diverse campuses in the nation. How do you feel like you and your slate best represent this diversity and what would you do to enhance this? Starting with you, Sabah. Yes. If you just go ahead and take a look at our slate, uh, you're going to see that we have 19 members. And if you look at the faces of every individual, you see that we come from different walks of life. We have members from the Greek system there. We have members from New Student Orientation. We have members who currently serve in Associated Students. We have members that are from Armenian Student Association. Members from all different walks of life on campus. Just as you mentioned, Amber, CSUN being the most diverse CSU campus with over 40,000 students, it's important for your student body, those that, are, um, those that you have voted for and those that are representing you in the Associated students to be the best representation of the students here on campus. In addition to that, if you go to our second pillar, which is opportunity, George and I are taking the initiative to want to create an AB 540 center we have on campus. And for those of you that didn't know, actually California legislation is planning on passing a bill, it's called SB 247, and this is authorizing CSUs to establish on-campus dream centers, AB 540 centers. So George and I have already taken the initiative to want to do this and best represent our campus here at, on, at CSUN. Just as we have the Pride Center, just as we have the VRC Center, it's important to have this AB 540 center on campus, which is going to best help represent all the members we have at CSUN, because it's not just about your interests and about what you want, it's about what the students want. And you have to vote for somebody who's going to best help represent your voice and help best represent what you want to see done on campus. So I feel like our slate, Strength and Unity, provides that to the campus and also is the one, the best choice to get all these things done. Thank you. Same question for you. If you could repeat the specific phrasing of your question yeah. to remind the audience. Of course. So the question is, CSUN is one of the most diverse campuses in the nation. How do you feel like you and your slate best represent that, this diversity, and what would you do to enhance this? So that fact that CSUN is one of the most diverse campuses in the nation is not just a result of the fact that the San Fernando Valley is extremely diverse. We have, I believe it's more than 3,000 different languages spoken in the San Fernando Valley alone, but the greater Los Angeles area. And Lucas and I are extremely aware and sensitive to the diversity of this campus. We want to support the AB 540 Center that our opponents have proposed, and we invite Sevag and, and George to, to, to continue their efforts to implement this kind of center. We fully support this kind, of, this kind of thinking and these kinds of priorities. Lucas and I come from different walks of life ourselves, different economic backgrounds, different, different ethnicities, and there's, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that myself being, being born uh, in, in the Middle East, that there's no, there's no difference humanly between a student who who is uh, who has who has paperwork and who, ha who doesn't we, we don't need uh, a center to tell us this as well but but it's it's important that we not only address this in the form of a bureaucratic mechanism that's important too but we need to address this uh, in terms of our social dynamics Lucas and I minoring in sustainability have studied these specific dynamics um, and our sustainability uh, mindset because we're both minors in that, have, has taught us what the value is of, of changing specific kinds of social dynamics within the social network that is CSUN. And we want to bring that to the table if you elect us. 
Thank you. So next question. As AS Vice President, you lead the Senators and guide them in their committee work. How do you plan on working with the Senators and empowering them to best represent their students in the upcoming year? And if you need me to repeat that, definitely let me know. We'll start with you, um, Vlad. Thanks. So the Vice President, as you may know, leads the Senate. And what that means, more than just coordinating bills, more than just revising language, more than just making sure the steps taken to research bills get done, that's all necessary, and I'm sure Savag and I both are qualified to do that. But the main thing that the Vice President needs to be able to do is, is to compromise. There's certain things that we may want to do, there's certain things that we may need to do, and there's certain things that we may need to do even more than those. So the Vice President's job is not only to make sure that bills that are proposed get passed, but that bills that are proposed don't get passed if they're bad ideas. And it's, it's a priority for AS in general, not just, the, not just the Senate, not just the Vice Presidency, not any executive or representative of a college, but it's the priority of AS in general to make sure that we, that we represent conflicting views, that we represent conflicting, that we, that we equally evaluate conflicting bills on an, on, an, on an equal basis. I want to also remind the audience and the student body that legislation, though it, it bears a kind of similarity to, uh, to an official form of legislation done at the state or, or federal level, campus legislation is, is, is ground level. Uh, it's very personal. Uh, it requires a lot of face-to-face -face communication and myself running a team of 18 engineers during my senior project and Lucas during the music program have, have, really, have really hardened us with that experience. Thank you. Same question for you. Could you repeat it once more, please? Of course. As, as AS Vice President, you lead the Senators and guide them in their committee work. How do you plan on working with the, with the Senators and empowering them to best represent th their students in the upcoming year? Definitely. I feel like as running, running for Vice President with George along my side as President, you're going to be only as strong as the Senators that are there with you. Because at the end of the day, we're a team and we're a unit. And you can't just have two strong, um, two strong, member, two strong members at the head and just leave the Senate to dry, to leave it out to dry. No, that's not the way it works. You're supposed to work as a team, you're supposed to work as a unit. And at the role of Vice President is also to serve as the glue. Just as Amber mentioned, the Vice President serves, at, serves on the committees and makes sure that they're run fluidly. And having experience chairing the external committee this past semester, I've really been able to see how it works and what you need to do to make the committees run efficiently. So if elected as Vice President, I already have that experience. So once the time comes around to lead these committees, I don't need, to, I don't need a waiting period and I don't need a learning curve because I've already had that experience and I know what it takes to run a successful committee. In addition to that, Vlad mentioned that the campus is the ground level and you need to be uh, you know, going face to face, talking to individuals, um, and that's totally correct and that's already what uh, we've been doing within the campaign but also as, as in the last year with being an elected official on campus. But it's not only that, you also need to advocate at the state level. Yes, I understand the ground level is very important and totally, I completely agree with that, but you can't completely forget about the state level. And our opponents are mentioning that the, at the state level, there's only so much that a president and a vice president can do, but that's false. There's the California State Student Association, and this serves as the, as the governing body for all the CSUs and helps best represent all the members of the CSU system at the state level. And having experience within that said organization, um, going into vice president once again, having that experience, you'll be able to uh, lead at a right when you get elected, and there isn't going to be that learning curve. So it's important to have it's important to have that experience. Thank you. Next question. CSUN has been working hard to enhance the reputation and visibility of the campus. What do you feel about this in initiative and how will AS contribute to this effort? And we'll start with you, um, Sevag. Yes. Um, it's definitely, it's been a great, great initiative that the campus is taking. I'm so proud to see that CSUN is finally breaking out of its shell. Um, it's been mentioned in the past, President Diane Harrison has said this, that CSUN is the best kept secret of the valley, and it's time to change that. And under our leadership, I feel like we can help and accomplish that. We've been going the past year with the rebranding of our logo, rebranding of our image. We've been currently improving our athletic teams. Just as George mentioned, our women's team won Big West, and they went to NCAA for the second year in a row. It's amazing to see that CSUN 
son is doing such great things. In addition to that, we have our sports clubs, for example, the women's rugby team, who's also representing us at the state level, at the national level, and really getting the word out of CSUN, what CSUN is and what CSUN does. Uh, for example, when I came, when I told my friends that I was going to be coming to California State University, Northridge, they just looked at me and said, oh, you're going to CSUN. But then when I actually came here and I got involved, I saw how beautiful CSUN is essentially and how many, how many opportunities that there are out there for the students. And that's why every student needs to know that. When you're on the outside looking in, you don't necessarily see that and it's time to change that. And that's why we need to help improve CSUN's visibility and continue supporting the campus with their initiatives in terms of getting the word out, marketing this university, and making sure that everybody knows about CSUN, the fact that CSUN shines, we're here in the San Fernando Valley, and it's important for everybody to know about us. Thank you. Same question for you, Vlad. I want to take this opportunity with this question to address something that, that is holding us back from making sure that our name is known, making sure that, just as Sevag's example very well demonstrated, uh, that when people outside the university hear the name, hear the name Cal State North, they think a second tier school. There's no reason to think that. I'm sure anyone who's been around here, at least here, knows that, that we should be proud of a lot of the, the education we're getting here. but. We, what Student Voices uh, is, is largely about is to, is to make sure that we reallocate funding to be able to put us at the level of a top tier university in terms of the resources we have in our laboratory spaces, the resources we have in our computer lab spaces, the resources we have for academic mentoring, for academic tutoring. Uh, there is money, for example, uh, that has been allocated toward, toward marketing and implementation for Big Show that has increased 500% the past uh, year or two, and that's a six-time, six-fold increase. We need to make sure that we, for example, reallocate this money towards scholarship increases or toward programs where departments can apply for supplemental funding for their undergraduate academic resources and laboratory spaces. It's things like that that will actually really bolster CSUN's reputation uh, in Southern California and across the world. Uh, we need to make sure that we're not just thinking about it socially, but thinking about it uh, at the academic level. It's, it's the academics that, set us up, that should set us apart from other schools, and I believe that CSUN has the potential to do that with wise allocation. Thank you. So last question, <clears throat> excuse me. What qualities and past experiences do you possess that sets you apart from the other vice president candidate? And we'll start with you, Vlad. Thank you. A little bit about me. Um, I grew up in New York and have been living here the past seven years in California. Uh, one thing that I, that I truly believe contributes to my potential as, as a successful vice president uh, to represent you is my extensive executive experience leading large teams. So the past year I've been running a team of 17 other undergraduate engineering students uh, in our capstone course to actually build an aircraft and fly it in a competition with uh, almost 100 other teams across the world. Uh, there's, there's other high school level and college level executive experiences that I, I don't want to bog you down in the details with, but I want, you, I want you to understand that I understand what it takes to lead. It's not easy, it's not for everyone, but with the right mentality and the right understanding and the right competence, it can really be done efficiently, and I think that's what has been demonstrated the past few years at AS, but I, I want to make sure that before I leave the, the university, I've put my mark uh, and Lucas has put his mark, uh, and all of our senators and committee chairs have put their mark uh, in, in sharing our vision to effectively lead the campus and address some of our fundamental issues that we have as a university. We can't be blind to the fundamental inadequacies that we have because the first step to solving any problem is to, is to recognize that you have one, and that's what Student Voices is about. We want to recognize the issues that represent all of us, we want to take our leadership experience from, from the field and from, from campus to actually implement our vision. Thank you. Same question for you, Sivag. Yes, just as Vlad said, 
uh, running for vice president or running for president, it's not easy and it's not for everyone. It's important to have a good background, not only within, yes, as you mentioned, leadership positions in both the high school and the college level, but also within the said organization. Both George and myself have been a part of Associate Students George for four years and myself for this past year. And with that, we've really been able to establish how Associated Students work, the different departments, what is the purpose of Associated Students, and how it impacts our lives, your lives, the students here on campus. Another thing I would like to mention is that with Associated Students, um, in the past, in the past, we've been able to develop. <coughs> excuse me. Um, with associated students in the past, this past year actually, uh, it was very difficult in the first six months. Uh, as a member of the board, I'll let you know that it was very difficult in terms of because there was a learning curve. Um, you know, you're a part of Senate. You're learning about where the funding's coming from. You're learning about the different uh, organizations, the services that AS offers. So there is a bit of that learning curve that comes with the first six months. And the benefit of myself having and George having had that experience, once we get elected into office, we're going to start from day one. There isn't going to be a learning curve in terms of what we need to know, what the vice president does, what the president does, how AS functions as a whole. We've had that experience. So once we're elected, we're going to start, just as I mentioned, um, with the 100-day initiative. From day one, once we get elected, we want to start this initiative and go to 100 classrooms in 100 days, get the word out to about associate students, to all of you, the students, know about the great programs and services that we offer. And having that experience and having that know-how is going to be very important because at the end of the day, we're only going to be elected for one year. It's a one-year term. It's very short. So it's important to start from day one. And I feel that George and myself have that experience that sets us apart from the competition and that we're going to be able to come in and make sure that we implement positive change and positive growth for associated students so that we continue to grow, we continue to strive, and that we continue to become a great organization. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes the vice presidential um, candidates question portion. So I'd like to welcome um, the presidential candidates to the podium um, as we enter our last segment of the debate. Um, I would like to reintroduce um, all the candidates. So we have our student voices candidates. Um, we have Lucas Faring running for president, and then Vlad Arutyunov. I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that wrong. Um, for president. And then we have the Strength and Unity slate with George Reyes running for president and Save Alexander for vice president. So for this last portion, this will be um, the joint question um, portion, so both of you are able to answer. Both president and vice president will now have the opportunity to jointly respond to the following questions. You have three minutes to answer each question, and after, after the response, the other team will have the opportunity for a two-minute rebuttal. Then we'll move on to the question for the following slate. So if you I hope you're able to get that. Um, so per the, the, coin, the coin toss before the debate, we're going to start with our strength and unity slate. Um, and these, all these questions are questions from students who were attending the event. We were able to get questionnaire cards from them. So these are questions from the students. So the first question is, Associated Students has several departments, student leadership, productions, outdoor adventures, recycling, children's center, ticket office, and sports clubs. Which, which out of out of the seven, do you think students know least about? How would you spread awareness about these resources? Thank you for that question. So being an associate student, I have an experience making sure that students know what our programs and services are. I've been able to notice that the main things are the children's center and the recycling center. So right now, like Savak said, the Senate right now actually passed to make sure we have a sustainability center. So this will improve the communication, the awareness of sustainability efforts we do. And just to let you know, our associate students is actually one of the very few that controls all of the campus recycling or what the CSU system as well as making sure with the sustainability center that we have we give more opportunity for the student body to make sure that they have jobs research areas meeting rooms and accessibility within this even gender neutral restroom is what we're advocating for so we really want to make sure that the sustainability center becomes a huge amazing opportunity for the student body and i just like to chime in with that as well uh, yes just as amber mentioned we have many different programs and services departments within associate students umbrella and uh, yes, certain, uh, some, some of these are more well represented than others. But just as George, George mentioned, our goal and our plan will be that each and every one is going to be best represented as they need to be. And as George mentioned with the recycling, with the recycling center, uh, it's very important and it's great that we took the initiative and that we are putting the funding down to fund the recycling center so that they can not only have the uh, right tools to work, but also to help better 
represent this campus and better serve this campus in terms of being a more sustainable, sustainable environment. All right, thank you. So the others, um, candidates, the other state candidates, you have a two minute rebuttal to um, answer that question as well. Hi. So what we would want to do to make the programs uh, that AS provides uh, more well known is to make them better. For example, with the recycling center, part of the reason why a lot of people might not know about it is because they don't recycle all that much. They don't have the ability to recycle a lot of the plastic cups that come from the uh, Freudian Sips and the other uh, locations that are made of plant plastic and people end up throwing tons of things away that they don't have to. Uh, other than that, uh, there aren't as many recycling bins on campus uh, as there could be that actually service as many things as they could and during move out time uh, the recycling center doesn't actually address the issue with cardboard waste, which is also a completely recyclable material. Uh, other than that, AS Marketing is a very, very good organization uh, that puts posters up everywhere, but ideally what we should do is seek to make every single program as fine-tuned and applicable to the majority as possible, and the programs should be able to speak for themselves. Uh, we shouldn't have to push them heavily on people if they're not actually as good as they could be. Um, so, do you have anything? Yeah, I, I also want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, the, the Family and Children's Center that Associated Students runs. Uh, I, I personally don't have any children myself, but I, I have known a handful of different engineering uh, and uh, urban studies students, friends of mine who, who have been parents, I just want to recognize how difficult it is to be a student and a parent at the same time. And we need to make sure we support that center. Thank you. So the second question, what does it mean to be a matador? And you have three minutes to answer that. We'll start with the student voices um, ticket. I'm a matador, you're a matador. Uh, that's a name, but Matador should speak to you beyond your, your student identity. It should speak to you within your campus identity. It's something we all walk away with when we leave. It's something we walk away with even if we don't graduate. It's something we walk away with even if we move away. And when you vote for your presidential, vice presidential, senate candidates uh, and all the positions you're voting for, I want you to make sure that your choices are reflecting what kind of image and what kind of future you want your university to have and follow into when you come back for, for, your, for your reunions as alumni. I want to make sure that when you think Matador, you're appreciative, grateful, and humbled by the experience you had here because this is an excellent university. I, I really believe that and I think Part of, part of the problem with, with, with brand recognition and name recognition uh, is that when you boil it down to just one word, uh, it can really stifle all the personal experiences that we've had here. Um, I, I know that, that if you've been here for even a short amount of time, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, Lucas? What it means to be a matador? Uh, we're a commuter campus. Uh, we're students who strive really, really hard uh, to fit as much time into uh, busy schedules and uh, extracurricular activities as possible. What we should do is take pride in the fact that our school does have um, a great education for a very cheap price and that we should continue to try and maximize the efficiency of the education that we get here um, for such a good price. Absolutely true. Thank you. Thank you. So, Shantanini, you have a two-minute rebuttal. Yes. We are Matadors today. We are Matadors when we graduate. We are Matadors forever. Coming, coming to California State University, Northridge, the biggest blessing that I could say that was given to me was getting involved. 
and it's very important for all of our students to get involved, to know what programs that they can go to, what programs that they can join, so that they can make their campus experience better. Because you're going to have your school spirit. Yes, you're going to be going to class, you're going to receive your education, but that's only part of it. It's so important and it's so pivotal to understand the fact that you grow outside of the classroom as much, if not more, than you do inside of the classroom. I feel that in my college experience, yes, I'm a sophomore, I've been here for about two years now, but I truly can say that I've grown so much more outside of the college, uh, outside of the college classroom through associated students, through the student clubs and organizations that I'm a part of, and it's important to advocate for that and for the students to know what things that they can join so that they can be proud matadors as well. And finishing that off, also look around you. We're the most diverse student campus. There's no one who looks exactly like you. Let's embrace that. That's what being a matter is all about. Embracing each other and really understanding how to work with each other and embrace our matter spirit. Thank you. Thank you. So next question. Both you both of your slates believe parking to be an important important issue important campus issue, excuse me. What do you think the student body realistically can and should do about the parking situation? And we'll start with you, um, the Shinton Unity State. Thank you. So we both have the same parking idea, and the same for us is creating that parking app. But um, what he was said before, that it will take more money from our associated students' fees, is incorrect, because we'll actually be tapping into our campus quality fee that's already being implemented by administration. As well as, how I view what the students can do for parking is making sure that they understand that there's different ways of coming to campus. We have our right share program and administration, making sure they know they can carpool with other students here at CSUN, making sure they're aware about the AS subsidized ticket office fee, where students can pay for bus fare instead of paying $75, allocating around 20 to 25, so then they can come to campus through that. Another thing we wanna do is create a bike shop on campus, which will help students actually bring their bikes from the dorms around the area, and they'll be able to fix it and have the appropriate resources. So then we will have less parking congestion in our university. And just as George mentioned, parking is a huge problem that we have here on our campus. So we have to be creative and think of different ways. We can't create a new parking structure because we're still in debt from the last parking structure that was created. However, what we can do is make your parking experience a little bit better. Just as George mentioned, we want to implement not only this parking app that we want to create, but also different forms of alternative transportation. Just as he mentioned with the AS subsidized bus fare, um, yes, many students are, be we're known as a commuter campus, but many students are beginning to live around the area. Maybe not necessarily at the dorms, but I know many people, many of my friends that live in uh, the apartments right across campus. So those individuals don't necessarily have to drive onto our campus. And that's why we wanna implement things like the bike shop. This is very important because yes, we have those, um, specific red, uh, those red things that you can help, you know, fix your bike with, but it's important to have a place where people can go and fix their bikes, have somebody that's an expert on the topic so that they can help you out with the process and really make sure that your needs are being met. So yes, parking is a difficult issue, but I feel like our slate has what it takes to make it a reality and make it a little bit more easier for all of you, the students. Thank you. Student Voices, you have a two minute rebuttal. Hi. So my primary expertise uh, at this university is actually dealing with uh, transportation. I have a year of experience working with the Transportation Working Group, which is a faculty group, um, and the AS Sustainability Committee, where I tried pitching the plan that we had created in the Transportation Working Group. Uh, about a year and a half ago, the first idea that I did in fact come up with was an app, but upon doing a financial analysis of how much an app run by university servers would cost, it would come out to over $100,000, and it wasn't a good financial option. So we explored different options, uh, ranging mostly around carpooling and a shuttle service that would um, address uh, the immediate uh, area one mile around campus due to the fact that about 8% of the people who park on campus live within a mile of campus and take parking spots from those in Santa Clarita. So they've already mentioned that we can't build new parking spots and transit subsidies would not be the most efficient option of addressing the um, issue. We would keep them, but a very small percentage of the population actually come to school by bus. About 80% of the student population come by car. So the best option is to incentivize 
uh, carpooling on a campus level and uh, change our current ride sharing system, which is exceptionally inefficient due to the fact that it is freeware and replace it with Zimride, which UCLA, UCSB, CSU Pomona, and UCLA all use to great effect. Awesome, thank you. So the next question. Season has announced they will go completely smoke-free in fall 2015. How do you see the role of associated students in this effort? We'll start with the student voices slate. Could you repeat the question? <laughs> yes. So CSUN has announced they will go completely smoke-free in fall 2015. How do you see the role of associated students in this effort? Uh, I would see the role of associated, of associated students um, supporting this policy. Um, beyond that, uh, well, what can associated students do other than support uh, the university corporation? A smoke-free campus is good for everybody. Um, smokers can uh, learn to go elsewhere, uh, and it's a matter of keeping the environment um, toxin-free and respecting the rights of those who do not smoke. So, uh, I fully support Lucas's view on that. What being a smoke-free campus is about is not just the specific technical and health aspects uh, of that policy, but also making sure that we're unified as a Cal State system, that we're, in, uh, that we're aligning ourselves with the, the priorities and policies of the UC system and that California has an identity as the state that champions uh, implementing easy solutions for public health improvement. And, and that's what that policy shows uh, that Cal State Northridge does as a campus in the Cal State system. Thank you. So we have strength and unity. You have a two minute rebuttal. Yes. Uh, being a member of the TUC board, I could let you know that the TUC is not the one that plans on implementing a smoke-free campus, it's the university. And in terms of what associated students can do, so this was an issue that I was very passionate about actually this past semester, and I brought it to the external committee. And actually last week we just passed a resolution within the committee, it's going to come to the Senate floor this Monday, and it's changing the associated student stance from um, the, the current stance, which stands that you can't smoke from about 20 feet from college campus uh, buildings, to a complete smoke-free campus, just as the university is implementing. But we're not stopping there. We want this to go into effect on Earth Day 2015. So just as the AS Productions is going to be throwing the AS Earth Fair event, which is great every year, it promotes a greener, healthier environment, healthier campus, we are also going to be taking that initiative because at the end of the day, smoking is also harmful not only for the individual, but also for the environment. So what we plan on doing is during Earth during the Earth Fair, we plan on handing out smoke-free kits and, uh, you know, because we don't just want you to stop smoking because, yes, it's, it's unhealthy, but it's also very difficult. Uh, just by saying that you can't smoke on CSUN's campus doesn't cure the problem, but what can is these smoking kits and starting to get you going in the right path so that you could start making healthier life choices and becoming a better uh, individual who takes care of their health, essentially. My friend speaks my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll have um, their two-minute rebuttal for um, student voices. I believe we spoke first. Oh, just kidding. I'm sorry. Um, next question. One of our university presidents, Diane Harrison's um, priorities is our NCAA athletics program. In your opinion, what is the role of associated students in supporting athletics? And we'll start with um, strength and unity. Like I mentioned before, it is we're so we're really proud matadors to have a women's athletic basketball team going to NCAA double A and making sure they actually go through it and making sure this is the second year they've actually gone through this tournament. Uh, winning Big West. So what we want to do is actually speak to our productions department and not allocating any more funds, but seeing where their revenue from Big Show is coming and then seeing how from their money that's already been, it's their money, making sure that we promote more tailgate events, creating more campus spirit, recycling the funds that they just obtained from Big Show and not advocating for more funds, but actually just reusing those funds to create and enhance our spirit, our, our spirit campus experience. And I'd just like to add on to that. 
Yes, we don't have a football program here at California State University in Northridge, but that's no excuse to not have school spirit. We have great programs. We're a Division I school, if you didn't know, with our women's, men's basketball programs, our volleyball programs. We do have the athletes, so it's time for us, the students, to go out and support them. But we have to create incentives as associated students to get these students out to the games, to get these students out and support their, fe their fellow matadors. Because athletics is, can be used as a great tool for engagement, and we want to make the commitment to make sure that happens. Thank you. Student Voices, you have a two-minute rebuttal. So first off, I want to completely agree with the Strength and Unity slate on that, that it doesn't mean we can't have uh, school spirit just because we don't have one specific program or another. I think we all, we all can agree on that. Uh, but what, what athletics should be about is not just uh, making sure that we try to, during our, 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 our uh, tenure in Associated Students, to try to create or, or push along those programs uh, to, to realize them, but uh, to also make sure that, just as, as George said, to actually make sure that we're, we're spending money the right way. And I, I think Lucas has something to say about, about the AS Productions budget. Yes, in 2010 and 2011, according to the AS Productions uh, budget that was posted online, we spent $70,000 that year um, in total in AS Productions. And this year we spent 419000 So I do believe that spirit is an important part of campus, but exactly how important is that as a priority? When is enough spirit enough? And why are we having so much um, emphasis on spirit when the Jacaranda Hall uh, Mechatronics Lab has hand-me-down equipment from the 1980s? Um, thank you. In that way, I think that if we did reduce and um, make the budget for AS um, productions more efficient, we would actually have more funding for the clubs and organizations and sports that exist on the campus, and we could support them better like that. Thank you. So next question. Associated Students' mission statement is to provide meaningful programs and services designed to create and enhance a spirited, learning-focused campus environment. How do you expect to accomplish this mission? We'll start with Student Voices. First off, I want to say that I think we've demonstrated throughout today's debate that, that it's more than just about selling you ideas. Uh, ideas have to be proven to you, uh, logically, uh, and that they need to be put in the appropriate social context for the university. Uh, making sure that associate students functions properly and, and its mission is accomplished year to year uh, isn't, just about, uh, isn't just about bolstering the school's image purely. It isn't just about trying to manage money purely. It, it's, it's about all of it. And all those things are a little too complicated to, make, to just try to sell you on, on the aesthetic of an idea. It needs to be proven to you uh, beyond doubt that a proposed plan will work, and I think today's debate has demonstrated that. Thank you. And then we have Strength and Unity with the two minute rebuttal. Yeah, first of all, um, when it comes to athletics, it's actually funded through the campus quality fee. The associated students fee wouldn't be able to pay for that. Um, moving on with your question, I just want to let you know that the Associated Students' mission statement, like you said, is to make sure that we provide meaningful programs and services, as well as advocate for the students at the state level, federal, and administration. And with that being said, uh, why should the students, yourself, be paying an $88 fee for programs and services and it goes into your academics when that's what you're paying tuition for? Our main priority should be making sure that your tuition money is, going, is being not raised, not spiked up. Prop 30 is about to end and that means your tuition can go up at any moment. And we want to make sure we can actually advocate for you at a state and federal level, making sure that your tuition does not go up again. And in addition to that, our opponents keep stating that the production's budget is large and that they're not using their money efficiently and that we should reallocate the funding and put it to other programs and 
services, essentially. However, if we read the mission statement once more, providing excellent, meaningful programs and services designed to create and enhance a spirited, learning-focused campus environment. So essentially what I'm understanding is our opponents want to take the funding away from programs like Big Show, Big Lecture, things that AS Productions funds. And again, these things are great programs because it gets the students involved, it gets the student engaged. I can't tell you how many students during AS Awareness Month came up to me and mentioned how these events that we throw, like Big Show for example, or Big Lecture, things that we get these big names onto campus and get students excited about being here at CSUN, how they want to see more things of that nature. So it's important to keep that, keep that the way it is and make sure that we're able to use that funding to provide these spirited and fun events for the students here on campus and make their campus experience enjoyable and memorable for the years to come. Thank you. So this will be our last question before we conclude to the closing statement from each slate. So last question. What power do you think the president, vice president, and student leaders actually have on campus and among CSUN administration? And we'll start with the Shinton Unity Slate. That's a great question. And starting with, there's many things that you notice that Associated Students has passed within your events, as well as advocating for your administration at state level, like I mentioned. As a senator myself, when I was senator, the big issue was commencement. When they wanted to transform commencement into a ticketed event with four tickets. What I, what I was part of was in the commencement committee for Associated Students, making sure we advocated and heard all of the students' needs. And at the end, commencement went from four tickets to seven tickets for the student body. That's what Associated Students can do for you as well as making sure we, the president's role is to advocate on behalf of all the student bodies here at CSUN in administration, state, and federal, and making sure that the corporation is running smoothly because you have to know how these departments work. You have to know what they need and be equitable with, throughout all of them, not just one specific department. Thank you. So we'll have a two-minute rebuttal for the student voices slate. All right, so the role of president and vice president uh, in the Associated Students, um, as I know it, is to lead the conversation about how we set the budget. And as far as I know, our, our relationship to the state is not as important as our relationship to the immediate community. Now, I want to go back briefly to the Associated Students um, Productions budget. Uh, they said that it's in, within the mission statement to um, provide meaningful events uh, to all the students, but I will point out that Big Show was only attended 48% by CSUN students. The other 50% did not even go here, and we subsidized the concert for them at a great loss. Additionally, the CSUN James Franco lecture cost $35,000, and uh, reports from that show that he was high during the um, actual event. Um, True. <laughs> Additionally, um, there's a big comedy and a big politics, which are both also 35000 and a final flips twice, that's $20,000 each, and Big Show um, has just gone up and up and up. So are those events actually really as good as they could be? Are they all completely necessary? What could we do with that other money? That is the idea that we're fighting for because there are tons of locations on campus that do not have what we need and additionally what our parking plan would cost is fifteen thousand dollars not over a hundred it would cost fifteen thousand to fix parking for everybody thank you I want, to take, I want to thank both candidates for that session, the joint, and that will conclude our joint question session. So we'll, we will um, end with closing mar remarks from each slate, and we'll start with the student voices slate. You have two minutes to, um, to, to, to speak on behalf of your closing remark. I just want to start uh, by thanking everyone for attending and reminding them to vote on April 1st and 2nd. Uh, I want to take an opportunity uh, to address uh, something said by, by Strength and Unity, that uh, the the purpose of associated students and, and leadership and governments in gener gov governance in general uh, shouldn't be to let education funding do its job and then worry about everything else yourself. The primary purpose of this institution, not just associated students, of this institution is to educate us and to leave us better off for the future. And if tuition isn't being allocated uh, well enough at the, at the academic level, it's up to us it's up to the associated students' leadership to address not how it should be, but the reality of the deficit. 
It's about, it's about, leadership is about addressing the concerns of the real, not how it should be. Just because tuition isn't paying for certain things, that doesn't mean associated students should, should leave it alone to the academics and the university level to take care of it. Associated students' job should be to advocate for what you care about, and that's making sure that you're prepared after you graduate. And that's the reality we're trying to address, not the ideal. In summary, what Student Voices essentially supports is this. We want to increase the scholarship budget from $150,000 to about $200,000. We want to upgrade the labs and reprioritize education. We want to fix parking because that is where our primary expertise, or my primary expertise, is located. And we want to help with water conservation efforts because uh, we're in a terrible drought. Then it could also be economically and environmentally beneficial. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll conclude with the strength and unity. Two minutes. You have yes. two minutes. First off, I'd like to thank our opponents. I'd like to thank all of you that came out to uh, watch the debate. You heard two very different sides and two different very uh, opinions as to how we want to lead this campus. Once again, our four pillars are communication, opportunity, sustainability, and campus experience. You heard what we're going to be bringing to the table, what we're going to be advocating for, and you heard our background. Uh, we have the experience it takes to lead associated students to the next step. We know how it works. We know who, we know who, um, who runs the, the different departments. We know how it essentially runs as a fluid organization. And we want to make sure that if you vote for us come April 1st and 2nd, that we will take your needs, your concerns, and your voice into account and make sure that whatever you want to see done on campus, whatever change you want to be done on campus, we're going to be the ones advocating for you and making that change a reality. And finishing it off, what a true leader is, anybody can say, let me reallocate some money to a different department, or let's get rid of this event, let's get rid of big lecture, let's get rid of big show. But what a true leader is, is making sure you listen to your departments, to your students, to not dictate your Senate, but to inspire them to make the right choices. To make sure that the students, you inspire them to advocate for what they want, and you yourself advocate for their, their needs. Make, being a leader is a hard thing, but reallocating money to something just because you feel so, it's not what a true leader means. It's, going out there and showing your face to the student body and taking ownership for what you want to do. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you both for um, the full debate. Um, I just want to remind everyone that elections are next week, April 1st and 2nd. Um, ballots open at 8 a.m. on Wednesday and they close 6 p.m. on Thursday. Um, and I want to thank you all for joining us. If you would miss the portion of it, all of this will be online by tonight um, or by tomorrow. So um, just check that out as well and spread that to all your friends. We'll be here till 3. Feel free to grab a cupcake um, as well if you want to talk with the candidates, they'll be here as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.